Welcome to Making Rounds, the video news source of the EMH Regional Healthcare System. First up on our program, EMH continued its 100-year birthday celebration all summer long. It kicked off with the Illyria Memorial Day Parade. Hi, I'm Kristen Davis from the EMH Marketing Department. I'm also part of the 100th Anniversary Committee. Today we're here at the Illyria Memorial Day Parade. We are submitting a float because this is the second event um, this year to celebrate the anniversary, the 100th anniversary of EMH Regional Medical Center. We'll have approximately 40 employees uh, walking with the float, handing out candy uh, from all across the system. And we're also having the EMH Relay for Life team walk with us as well, so it should be a great day. In July, Alumni came from around the country to participate in the M.B. Johnson School of Nursing reunion and to witness the hallway dedicated in its name. They had a wonderful afternoon of camaraderie, friendship, and a reunion just to see their teachers and their classmates. It was a great afternoon. Welcome everybody. We are so excited to be able to uh, dedicate our M.B. Johnson hallway today. Uh, we haven't had a, a special place in, uh, in the hospital to remember the school, and so this has been a, a real dream come true. Yeah. The 100th anniversary celebration event that we have scheduled is going to happen October 30th, 2008. That's Thursday in the cafeteria. We're going to celebrate our 100 years. Kevin Martin will dedicate our newly renovated EMH Auxiliary Centennial Garden and he will also participate in helping bury the time capsule. Everyone is invited to attend October 30th, 2008. That's a Thursday afternoon from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the cafeteria courtyard. There will be refreshments, and we'd love to have you come down and witness the burial of the time capsule and the dedication of the garden. And finally, in August, EMH co-celebrated 100 years with its neighbor, McKinley Elementary School, with a family fun day offering games, food, and fun for everyone. In August, President and CEO Kevin Martin presented a check to the Elyria Schools to help make the Science Department at the new Elyria High School state-of-the-art. It does give me great privilege to be here today and discuss this donation. This donation is on behalf of the Board of Directors, the MH Regional Healthcare System. This is our 100th birthday, and in honor of that, we felt that it was important that we examine our corporate conscience and make this contribution to the benefit of our city by supplementing the construction efforts of our new high school in Elyria. <clears throat> We're very pleased to be investing in our community and in particular the youth of our community. We hope that the EMH Center for Science and Learning at the new Elyria High School will serve as a springboard for the next generation of scientists and medical professionals. This goes so far beyond the money. The money is wonderful and it will create a legacy for EMH and the Elyria City Schools partnership, but it's that programming that has already occurred, is occurring now, and will continue to occur in the future that we're looking forward to. And this, this uh, lab upgraded, uh, state-of-the-art, uh, world-class lab that you're providing us is going to help us with that partnership. And we just can't say thank you enough to EMH and all of its partners, your true partner. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thanks. The new EMH Wound Care Center is open for business. Um, what we bring to Illyria is uh, the wound, uh, chronic wound healing as well as uh, the ability to treat these serious wounds with hyperbaric oxygen treatments. So our hyperbaric uh, treatment center has two chambers where we can serve those patients simultaneously for what is typically a 90 minute treatment, five days a week for about 30 treatments in total. We are staffed by nurses 
who see our patients for the chronic wounds in the wound center, doing a complete assessment of these wounds and begin offering the aggressive treatments towards healing those wounds. Also on our staff, there are five physicians, uh, panel physicians ranging from general surgeons, plastic surgery, podiatrists, to serve the needs of these patients uh, under the direction of Dr. Keith Warner, who is our medical director. See the footwork. Oh, yeah. Our Enlighten program is a six month weight management program um, with actually losing weight during the first six months. The six months afterward is learning how to maintain uh, your weight loss. The Enlighten program is very individualized, whereas that you meet with a registered dietitian, a fitness specialist, a um, doctor, registered nurses, and a mental health professional. Exercise is a really big portion of a program. You do become a member of the fitness center. Um, a fitness specialist would take you through, they'll assess where you're starting from, they'll design a program for you, for what your goals are, and then they'll orient you to the equipment. And then they're, they're with you to help answer any questions. We also have fitness staff on the floor at all times, so they're there that can help you if you want to change up anything. Being an employee at EMH, it's a very good benefit that we have to offer to join the Enlightened program. When you enroll, there's certain rules that you have to follow, and if you do that and you lose your weight, then the insurance company, if you have our insurance benefits with the hospital, um, they pay for the program. You don't have to pay for it. With the insurance portion of the program, you do have to have a BMI, body mass index of 30 or more, to be able to get the insurance to actually pay for the program. I can truly say I've been enlightened. I mean, you learn a lot of things. I mean, you learn how to control not only your eating, but you, um, you have a more grip on your, your feelings. You know, everybody said, oh, here, eat this piece of cake. It's not going to kill you. You know, and we go out to eat. My complete, you know, my diet is different. We went to the fair this year, and it was like all that greasy food and stuff. I couldn't eat it. You know, I just can't. But I've lost about 30, 40 pounds already on the program, and that's in six months since January, and about 35 inches. If an employee wants more information, they can call Susan Berger at 988-6875. We are very proud that our very own Sue Keller has been named the first ever Cranes Cleveland Business Healthcare Hero in the nurse category. Sue's been with us a long time and is currently manager of our cardiac and pulmonary rehabilitation and wellness department. However, she also plays a vital role in our community. She's the face of EMH to many Lorain County residents due to her tremendous efforts with health screenings and individual wellness counseling. Please join me in congratulating Sue for this well-earned honor. Hi, I'm Sue Keller, and I won the Cranes Business <laughs> Healthcare Hero Award, first ever for nursing. And um, I just accepted the award, and when they told me that Marty was going to videotape and whatever, I said, well, then come to the United Way Day of Caring at El Centro and see what we really do because I accepted the award um, on behalf of all the team that goes out with me and I could not do this first of all without the support of EMH and backing us and having us really connect with the community and make sure that we're spreading the health care message um, to everyone in our community and trying to make sure that they're connected with our resources for health care but today we have Sandy Canalis from Diabetes Education, Health Consultation Services, Kim Horvath, Healthy Lifestyles, Marilyn Teeple, Food and Nutrition Services. Alberta's here from uh, doing bone density from electrodiagnostics. Sue Gordon's here doing uh, self breast exam instruction for people. I have LCC students, the lab people. We could not do this without lab being very supportive. And so this whole group, and there's and Marty Reiser's here also from Diabetes Education. We obviously could not do this. We're probably going to see between two and three hundred people today. I was just overwhelmed when I won the award. I never expected that I would win. And this is us in action out here today, uh, in putting uh, your resources to good use with the education that we're doing. Well, that's it for this edition of Making Rounds. I'm Marty Aiden. Thanks for watching.